everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And of course, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and also remember to share because sharing Ivorian Spice is caring. And of course, press that notification bell because why? You want to be the first person that gets to watch the first video that comes out from Red United TV. Let's get straight into it because it is Real Sociedad, nil Manchester United. One Manchester United collecting three points. But this time, it wasn't the best result for us because, of course, we did win. But at the same time, we low-key lost because Manchester United finished level on points with Real Sociedad, but not able to finish top of the table, which means Manchester United will have to play one of the teams who finished third in the Champions League, which could be a Barcelona or an Ajax, or a Juventus, or a Sporting Lisbon, or Lisbon as they pronounce it. Even a Real Salz I mean Red Bull Salzburg. So it's looking like it's going to be an interesting round of 32 for Manchester United playing one game extra against a top team. Oof, I hope we get the shit team, you know. I really do hope we, get the shit. we can advance to the last 16. So Manchester United not winning by two goals. Or more against Real Sociedad, Real Sociedad means that we have not advanced the last 16. We would have to play an extra game. And that's not good for us considering the season that we're having. The, the amount of games coming thick and fast before the World Cup. Boy, oh boy, it's not good. But one thing I have to say today in this game in the first 45 minutes. Because Manchester United had a good first, first 45 minutes. Manchester United were pretty much in control. Midfield in control, and boy, I love the fact that we have Casemiro, we got Ericsson and, and Bruno midfield to control that midfield. The first goal coming from Alejandro Granacho, yes, an assist by Cristiano Ronaldo, a lovely assist by Cristiano Ronaldo, because that's what he done throughout the whole game, just the assist and nothing more. With Alejandro Granacho running onto the ball, finish it up in the top right corner, brilliant finish by Granacho, his first goal. For Manchester United, I'm very sure he's happy. First professional goal must be excited because he's been doing well and he deserved it because he played well in the previous uh, um, game in the Europa League. So, going into half time, it was Manchester United winning 1 0 against Real Sociedad. In that second half is where everything lo we lost it. We lost it all. I don't know what Ten Hag was thinking to bring up Marcus Rashford and McTominay to take off. Victor Lindelof and and also I, I believe um who did he take off? Donny van der Beek. Yes, that's correct. Donny van der Beek. And to look like it seemed that Manchester United were playing a 3-3-3-1 free, free, free formation and a bizarre formation. And Ted Hogg is just like Pep, likes to tinker in certain in certain games and change formations because he thinks, oh, this might work, this is a great game, this is a great idea, we might score some more goals, but it didn't work, we didn't work on it at all, this, this formation didn't like to match him, because Manchester United, in that second half, Real Sociedad were invited to come on to Manchester United, and Manchester United in that second half was so poor, Rashford coming on and doing absolutely jack shit, fuck, Oh, really, and truly, fuck all, like, I was thinking, what the fuck was you doing, bro? you wasn't on this thing, McTominay, I don't know what he added into that second half, but Manchester United were looking lackluster, looking under the threat. And it wasn't good in that second half. We threw everything. The kitchen sink. We played Harry Maguire up front with Ronaldo. And you know what Harry Maguire did? You know? Do you know what he did in his first action? Because he the foul. You know? We didn't bring on Maguire for lap for lap position when we took off Victor Lindelof. You know? He's not rated at all, Maguire. But yes... To see Maguire playing up front with Ronaldo, that would never be in your fantasy team. But it was in Ten Hag's fantasy team today during the second half at the end. Of course, Manchester unable to get a goal in, throwing everything at Real Sociedad, but just not able to get that second goal. Finishing the game full-time, Real Sociedad nil, Manchester United nil. Oh, Real Sociedad fans were ecstatic, happy to lose. You know, I've never seen a team that was happy to lose. You know, come on, fans, are you happy to really lose? You should be disappointed that you never won or you never got anything from the game. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Players wise, today, Granacho did well in the first 45 minutes, but then in the second half, 
nowhere to be found, nowhere to be seen. Emulating the Cristiano Ronaldo celebration. You know the... You know, it's just beautiful to see because, of course, he's playing against... He's playing with his idol. Ronaldo, apart from the assists, moaning and complaining, getting a yellow card, he was bad. He wasn't that great. And we definitely need another striker. Bruno Fernandes... Although he played on the right-hand side, I can't see much about him. Rashford coming on to do jack shit and do anything but go past his players, past the ball. I don't know what he was doing, you know. I really don't know what he was doing today, you know. Van der Beek as well. I'm starting to think Van der Beek was the, st the star of the Invisible Man movie because he was invisible today. My God. Jeez. Jeez, but enough about the players. Let's move it up to man of the match because man of the match today has to go to the butcher, Lissandro Martinez. My guy, this guy was aggressive. He was every winning every aerial du duel, like just winning it all. Martinez is a beast. Donkey of the match has to go to Donny Van der Beek because why? He was the Invisible Man. He starred in that film, that movie, The Invisible Man. I think it was with Patrick Swayze. I can't remember, but. They look alike. This guy was invisible. People always ask me what position did Donny Van der Beek playing in the number 10 position? No, bro. He's just not playing in any position. He's invisible. He's the invisible playmaker. He ain't involved. Uh, although I understand it was his first game in over a year. Felt like a new signing to me because we ain't seen him for a very long time. It is what it is. Manchester United fans, let's take this win. We move on to the next game. What can we say? As always, this has been your match reaction by your boy Ivor and Spice. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, share across all social media platforms, and of course, press that notification bell so you can be the first to watch. Let me know what your thoughts are on the match today. Let me know who your man the match was. Let me know who your donkey of the match is was as well. Till next time, as always, remember to keep it united. And remember to keep it red united because your boy is out. Peace, peace, and plenty of peace.